What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're gonna to talk about the 2019 Cashback Credit Card of the Year. But first off on this channel, we talk about inspiring people to travel more using points. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. Okay, so I've looked at a few different cards, a few different cashback cards, and I found that one just stands out above all the other cashback credit cards that are out there right now. There are five key factors that I wanna look at and we'll go over those right now. So let's go over some of the key factors. The first thing the card has to have is a zero annual fee. It has to have a great sign up bonus, great earning possibility, flexible points, and offer great insurance benefits like purchase protection and other insurances. So after looking at several cards and going over the numbers, I think the Chase Inc. Cash card is probably the best cashback card that's available right now. Now I know you guys are saying the Chase Inc. Cash card, that's a business card, but uh, this is one of those business cards that a lot of people can get. If you're a sole proprietor, you can still get the card. If you work, if you do something outside of your normal job or you're earning money outside of your normal job, you can apply and you, and you might be able to get the card. So you don't necessarily have to have a full blown business in order to get this, this Chase card. And I think it offers just some of the best benefits. So let's go over some of those benefits. Okay, so the first key factor that we were talking about is the annual fee. There's a zero annual fee on this card, so you never have to pay annual fee. So it's a keeper card. There's no reason not to get the card. As long as you can qualify, you should be all set. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the sign-up bonus. So the sign-up bonus on this card is really, really generous. You're getting 50,000 points. That's after spending $3,000 within the first three months. And that's unheard of when it comes to cashback cards. You're usually not gonna get a sign-up bonus that high. So it really makes sense to get the card just for that sign-up bonus. Another key factor to look at is the earn possibility. Earn possibility on this card is five points for every dollar spent at office supply stores, then five points for every dollar spent on internet, cable, and phone services. So it's just, it's one of those cards where you're gonna use it every month because we all have a cell phone, we all have uh, internet, most of us have internet, most of us have cable, so you're gonna be paying those every month, so you're getting five points for every dollar spent for that, and then if you wanna go to an office supply store, Staples, Office Max, you're gonna get five points for every dollar spent there. So it just makes sense. Now it does cap out at 25,000 per year, but for most of us, especially if you have a small business like I do, you're not gonna spend more than $25,000 out at Staples or with your phone bill and your internet and your cable. So it's a win-win when it comes down to a five points every dollar spent. You don't get that with a lot of cashback cards. Okay, so we're halfway through the video. Now's the perfect time for you to hit that like button. And also share this out with your family and friends if you think they might benefit from this content. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So the next thing I wanna talk about is flexible points. So with this, with this cashback card, you have flexible points. You don't just have cashback points. If you have other cards like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Inc. Business Preferred, you can transfer these cashback points up to those cards and use those points for travel. So you can go on the travel portal, the Chase travel portal, or you can use them to transfer the transfer partners. This is not one of those cards where you're just gonna only be able to earn cash back and not be able to redeem it for, for travel or transfer to transfer partners. This card gives you a little bit more when it comes to that. So last thing I wanna talk about is the insurance benefits that this card gets you. So you're gonna get things like warranty insurance. It's gonna allow you to get an additional year on your warranty where you're gonna get purchase protection and that, that covers theft and damage. So within the first 120 days, if you have something stolen from you or it's damaged, you can file a claim and you can get your money back. So it's, I mean, this is one of those deals where I mean, it really makes sense to always use a credit card when you make purchases, large purchases, because anything can happen. And in that one, that first 120 days, you have a little bit of uh, insurance when it comes down to certain situations. Now that this does cap out at 10,000 per claim and 50,000 per life of the account. Uh, but most of us are probably not going to have that much bad luck. So it does. This is one of those situations where I think it, it's always it's always a good deal to do that. And you'll see a lot of cashback cards. You'll see some other credit cards. They're going to offer that same protection, but the the amount is going to be a little bit less. So that's something that you want to look at as well. And something else you don't see on a lot of cards, you get primary rental insurance. So if you're renting a car, you get primary insurance. Now you have to you have to be using the car for business purposes in order to get this uh, primary rental insurance but you don't have to get the insurance when you go and pick up your car. You have your own insurance through your credit card, so that's something that's good. So all in all, I mean, I think this card is an amazing card to consider. It's a cashback card that just has a lot of different uh, possibilities, and I think 
for me, I, I got the card about six months ago and I really, really enjoy it and I use it all the time. Like I said, every month I'm using it to get the five points for every dollar spent on my utilities. And then I'm using it, I go to Staples all the time. I get gift cards, all that good stuff. You can do all that with this card and it just, it opens up so many different possibilities. So I wanna know what you guys think though. What do you guys think about the card? Please post it down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.